What's going on everybody? It's your boy Kicks back again with another review as you can see right here in front of you. Um, before I go any further, hey, I just want to see if um, y'all out there being safe, out there blessed. Um, do me a favor at the end of the review. Uh, leave a thumbs up, like, subscribe, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. And um, if you hear some noise in the background, <laughs> it's just my man right here. So, oh, and there'll be a review on him. Uh, far as tech wise well anyway um i did hit on these on dtlr had to wait a while because mine's got mailed in um kind of happy i did get them i've heard pros and cons about these but i'm not mad because the year these came out was the year that i graduated it was a great year too and uh i think after seeing them for the first time in my eyes uh, they're good to me now i know a lot of people will have some issues um but let's uh let's first look at mines and go from there so as you can see you have his Aaronist jordan on the box and everybody's familiar with this box so i had to, i don't have to go any further by not saying what it is um the reimagined threes my box did come good which you're not wearing a box but hey it did come out good unlike some pairs I got that I'm going to do a review on. As you can see right here, you got the Air Jordan Retro 3, Summit White, Fire Red Black, size 12, my size. And if you case you want to ask the question, it all depends on your feet. Uh, if you have wide feet, go up a half a size. If you have narrow feet, stay true to size. So, let's take out the lid. <clears throat> As you can see with the lid off, there's really nothing much here to see other than the fact that the white has came on the inside of the box, which as you can see is on the outside to make it look aged. Spin this around. I want to make this look more presentable. Uh, you also are welcome with the elephant print and also with the detail card uh, explaining everything about the shoe, how it's made. Let's see if I can get this out. My hand, I'm doing it with one hand and holding the camera in another. So bear with me. So, and I'm not editing anything because this is straight live. As you can see right here, it shows the breakdown of the shoes, the details of all what goes into the shoes and making it. And also, a lot of y'all know that this was the shoe that saved Nike. Thank you, Tinker Hatfield, because it wasn't for him to redesign a new style shoe at the time. Jordan would have been with somebody else. Um, as you can see right here, the outsole, the foot frame midsole, the foot air sole unit, visible heel air sole unit, sock liner, upper liner. Comes in all three different uh, languages, English, French, and Portuguese. So, as you can see right here, on the back, it's just plain, nothing. So, let's put this right here. Elephant print paper, you're greedy with that. Let's move this right over here. And I should have turned it this way. As you can see right here, the Air Jordan 3. Now, the Fire Reds came out a while back. I did get a pair of those. I don't know if I did a review on them. I did so many reviews, I can't remember. But as you can see, the, I like the Fire Reds because those are also original. But these are clean in hand. Uh, I wouldn't think that this would have came out the way it did, but after seeing them, yeah, they are clean. And whoever has the pair that has the Jordan Jumpman logo on the back and the Nike on one and the Nike on the other, hey man, you better hold on to that one because that's that's uh, a mistake that's probably going to be worth more. But let's look at this, okay? A lot of people were talking about the imperfections, the mismatched materials fires the elephant print and the leather now keep in mind one shoe is made in one factory and the other is made in another so yeah we're paying a lot of money for better quality but you got to think about it nike's job is to just supply on demand which they're not going to spend the time trying to make sure each shoe matches they're trying to get these shoes out in a hurry to uh the masses the people who want them now, the problem I have with that is, okay, I agree with that, but to me, um, if I'm paying $225, you need to take your time, match the shoes up. You, I'm sure you got quality control people looking these over and making sure these match. Mines turned out to be pretty good. 
Um, the elephant print does match slightly. I'm going to show you this. But I don't care. Because back in 88, they didn't match then. Um, they were just the newest craze style. We didn't care too much about it. But I'm old school too. So I'm just saying. Uh, we didn't care about the elephant print. We just knew it was a clean style, clean look. And we wanted to wear what Jordan was wearing. To see if we could jump higher and move faster. You know, it, you know, it is what it is. We had... Uh, a very fine imagination. Now, looking on the uh, medial side of the shoe, as I said before, you have the elephant print here on the back, toe, on uh, back of the heel. You have that nice sail color um, pull tab right there with the Nike Air in black and bold um, lettering, which is kind of clean. Um, the leather is tumble, very nice leather. I'm not judging it. It's still the leather is still nice. Um, around the ankle, the collar part. You had a perforated uh, leather, and on the inside of the lining is cotton. Behind the tongue, as you can see here, you had a red material, and I noticed that they said different model years of the Jordan 3. Um, the red did, had rolled over, but this one is behind the white leather tongue. Um, on the front, you have the other tongue, you had the Jumpman in red, with the perforated leather all the way down to the top of the. Uh, the uh, top of your shoe or the toe box and if you look right here you see the widow's peak right there um, let's see you got the red aglets or eyelids whatever you want to call them openings for the shoelaces to go through white shoelaces are the only ones you can that comes with the shoe but if you want to change it up you can I'm not I like to keep mine as original uh, on the lateral side you also have that same perforated, I mean, um, tumbled leather. Very clean on the bottom of the mud guard. That's a smooth leather right there. And also on this side, you have the perforated leather here around the ankle. Black uh, plastic eyelids for the laces. Perforated leather going down here for the eyelids of the laces. Uh, midsoles, you got that sail color again with the white on the front, white shoelaces. On the inside of the bubble, you still have that matching white inserts, I mean internals for the bubble itself. Sorry about this, zooming in out. And you got this black color, black paint going around the top of the midsoles, all the way to the back. On the bottom, you got that signature gray and red and white outsole with the Nike in the middle. And basically, I am pleased with this. Uh, oh, and also your your um, insoles, as you can see right here, size 12, Nike. Let me do this real quick, move the lace out the way. With the Nike on the inside, I'm trying to focus, focus, focus. There you go. But like I said before, with mines, mines, I don't care. I really don't care. Uh, because at the end of the day, y'all, it's basically we're just going to wear these. Uh, see how the elephant print look? Mines look pretty close to each other, but like I said, I don't care. I, don't, I really don't care. I think they're nice. For old school folks, oh, 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 forget, oh I forget, the red tag. God, I had a red tag. I kind of like the, uh, where are my keys at? I can't get it right now. I have to show it to you. I, like I kind of like the thicker plastic um, uh, hang tag, but hey, it is what it is. But like I was saying before, um, I'm pleased with mine. I, I don't care about the mismatch. Um, it can happen. Now, if it's really noticeable, now, I, I understand the gripe. If it's really noticeable, like some people have real faded, like bleached out um, elephant print. Uh, I agree with you on that one. Um, if it's really noticeable about the elephant print, like it doesn't match, I can I can understand that too. But me, myself, talking to my, uh, me, Distinguished Kicks, I don't care. I'm going to, at the end of the day, I'm going to wear them. And uh, from far away distance, you're not going to tell. But those folks who got those kind of mis um, uh uh, 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 damn, I'm trying to say the word, but defects in their shoes that kind of sucks for them because now you got to try to return, exchange the shoe or return it, and where are you going to find it? Because that's going to lead that person to the point where if I return the shoes, Nike only going to do is going to give me back my money, or maybe they might give you some people I heard was uh, Nike had gave them a percentage off of the shoe because of the mistake. If I had no other choice but to do that, then I would take that because if you return them, you might not be able to get the shoes unless you go uh, resale. And who wants to go that route? I mean, everybody don't want to pay that extra, but they want the shoe. 
I get it. I understand. But I wouldn't want to do that. Other than that, I'm happy with mines. I'm very pleased with mines. And um, like they say, wear your shoes. Um, like I said, I'm being selective because I got so many in my inventory right now. It makes no sense to me trying to buy something else unless it's something that really, um, you know, make me like, man, I got to have this. But other than that, there you have it. That's my thoughts and review on the uh, Air Jordan 3 reimagines. Um, I'm going to call mine dunk contest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the 88 dunk contest because I remember that day when he did all that stuff off of the free throw line and stuff like that. But these are clean. My fire reds are clean, so these are staying with me in the collection. I hope you all decide to do the same thing. But if you got imperfections on your shoes, get those taken care of the best way you can. Get money back if you have to. I'll go that route and keep your shoes. Because right now, we just don't know what's out there unless they do a restock. Now, if they do a restock, go for it. Other than that, she bought these things kicks. Uh, back with a, another review. Like I said before, leave me a comment below. Like, subscribe. Hope everybody out there is being blessed and safe. And uh, like I would say, aim for something or you can miss everything. Oh, one more thing. Follow me on uh, Instagram. It's Distinguished Kicks, which is Distinguished underscore Kicks. Check my uh, Instagram channel out. And uh, yeah, uh, like I say, I hope to hear from y'all soon. Also, as you see here, that's going to be another one coming up soon. And... Uh, these two we already know what that one is right there but that one these are coming up and uh stay tuned about my man astro say goodbye to everybody Oops. ai's you gotta love them <laughs> peace y'all